Tonight, exclusive, behind closed doors from the edge of the financial abyss, the anger, rage, insults, and accusations, the author of the book everyone's talking about, the audio tapes you haven't heard. Tonight on World News with Diane Sawyer and Nightline on ABC. Hey there to all of our fans online, I'm Paula Ferris. And I'm Rob Nelson with the top stories on this Monday, September 10th. Federal public health experts are expected to officially link cancer to that toxic dust around the Ground Zero site here in New York. First responders, rescue and recovery workers, and people who lived or worked in the area have complained about illnesses. Some people got sick soon after the terror attacks that happened 11 years ago tomorrow. Now, the New York Post reports that victims who suffered from up to 50 different types Types of cancer may finally get compensation for their health care should the Fed sign off on this long awaited report. As many as 400 people exposed to the dust have died from cancer since 9 11. Public school teachers in Chicago are going on strike this morning. Contract talks collapsed late last night, and that means 29,000 teachers and support staff are set to hit the picket line this morning. It is the first teacher strike in the Windy City in 25 years. The city and the teachers union have been battling over pay, also over job security as well. More than 400,000 students have no classes. However, there will be supervision and cafeteria services, services I should say, on many school campuses for at least mm -hmm. part of the day. So hundreds of thousands of parents scrambling right now trying to figure out what they're going to do. In Iraq, one of the deadliest days since the withdrawal of U.S. troops, more than 90 people were killed in nearly two dozen bombings and shootings across the country, and more than 350 were wounded. Many of the attacks targeted soldiers and police recruits. So far, no one has claimed responsibility, but the government is blaming Al-Qaeda. The latest Gallup poll suggests that President Obama did pick up some momentum after the Democratic convention. In August, the two candidates were in a dead heat, but the latest numbers put the president in ahead by five points. And from the why didn't I think of that department, or why didn't we think of this, Rob, a <laughs> unique new invention called the inebriator. The inebriator makes it easy to mix your favorite adult beverage because it does all of the work for you. You just select your drink, let the inebriator do what's best, and it's not for sale. It's a one-of-a-kind prototype, but I have a feeling that somebody is going to start producing that in mass. I think there's a market out there for, for oh, that yes. kind of product. I would never have to leave the house again. <laughs> well, you can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Paula Ferris. I'm Rob Nelson. Cheers, and thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it.